Uh, Peyton bitch ass remind me of this nigga right here. What the hell is that? What the hell is But too bad I can't put hands on him. Uh, a couple of days ago, this crazy ass white boy, keyword white boy, shot up this uh, supermarket in Buffalo, New York. I have two questions. First question, why would you kill innocent people that you don't know? Second question, why the fuck the cops didn't kill this nigga? His bitch ass drove 200 miles to do what he did. So you're telling me the cops couldn't kill this dude. You can kill this dude, but not this nigga. This dude, but not this nigga. This motherfucker here, but not this nigga. It seemed like cops just out here killing whoever the fuck they want to kill and letting other motherfuckers go unscathed, unharmed, and untouched. I call bullshit. Yes, Peyton bitch ass put a gun to his head. He was about to take his own life until the cops intervened and told him, hey, nigga, what the fuck is you doing? You need to uh, load the gun down. You are white. The fuck is wrong with you? They ain't say that shit, but I know niggas was thinking it. He killed 10 people. How you not beat a nigga ass? That right there is the perfect opportunity to beat a nigga down. Ass would been gone to waste. He tried to blame what he did to the people on mental illness, but once again, I call bullshit. Last May, a 17-year-old high school senior called Peyton Gendron received an assignment in his economics class. The assignment asked, what do you want to do when you retire? He answered, commit murder-suicide. Gendron's teacher immediately reported his threat to authorities who sent him to the emergency room for a psychiatric evaluation. Gendron was there for just 20 hours. As he wrote later in his diary, quote, I got out of it because I stuck with the story that I was getting out of class and I just stupidly wrote that down. That's the reason I believe I am still able to purchase guns. But he was lying. Gendron's intention to commit mass murder was, as he later wrote, quote, not a joke. I wrote that down because that's what I was planning to do. And he was. Peyton Gendron was mentally ill. His classmates knew that. Gendron made strange facial expressions and said odd things in class. Last year, he showed up for school for a full week wearing a hazmat suit. Boots, gloves, everything, recalled another student. Police and school administrators understood perfectly well that Gendron was potentially dangerous. That's why they sent him to the psych ward. Even his own parents must have known that something was very wrong. Gendron's diary describes how his mother helped him bury a cat he had beaten to death in their garage and then beheaded with a hatchet. On Saturday, Peyton Gendron, as you know, finally did what he said he would do. He committed mass murder. He opened fire on a crowd of strangers in a Buffalo supermarket. He murdered 10 of them. So how did the adults around him let this happen? In a country with functioning leadership, we would be asking that question. The signs of mental illness were certainly there. The people in charge missed those signs or didn't take them seriously enough or weren't paying close enough attention. In any case, they didn't fix it. They let a killer slip through. So what did they do wrong with Peyton Gendron and how can we learn from it? So what exactly are the FBI agents doing? Because I could have sworn they were supposed to be spying on people. I mean, uh, watching everybody. They probably too busy sucking each other off. You're going to come to a supermarket called Tops Friendly and shoot up everybody like you Rambo. White man goes into the store, kill black people, come out unharmed. Yeah, that's what I like to call white privilege to the fullest. And on top of that, the nigga look a little bit unhappy in the uh, family photo picture. But what can I say? He looked like he was up to no good. He has the face of I'm going to fuck some shit up two to three years from now. That is only a face that God can love because that is one ugly ass nigga. Nigga dick probably so small, he probably piss on himself when he pee. Anyways, now it's BDB, a.k.a. Big Dick Bob and I stick to my accent. Uh, y'all be safe out here, because it seems like you can't go to supermarkets, churches. Now you can't even go to schools. Don't worry, I'm going to talk about this bitch-ass nigga. 
but that's like another video for another day.